If you don't do anything else, I suggest you watch the tail end of this video because this is the most expensive uh, antenna wire on the market um, at over a hundred dollars, hundred pounds a foot. All right, so let me get into the nuts and bolts of it. So what I've got in my hand here is the most expensive wire ever made. I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a couple of close-ups of of this in a minute. Now it looks very much like a regular Kevlar cord antenna wire. However, it's an infinitely variable velocity factor. So what does that mean? It means that from about 3.6 megahertz to 18 megahertz, the velocity factor varies from 100% at 18.15 megahertz down to about 19% at uh, just below 80, 80 meter band actually. Now I've got the official document at home, so I'll drop that in and let you see the curves. But how does it work is that we've got what looks like a Kevlar cord wire, but in fact isn't. It's a copper infused, it's a copper, what did they say it was? Um, a copper polymer with transparent aluminium and silver threads, okay? And that gives it the 100% velocity factor, 18 megahertz. And then the jacket has a copper infused structure, which effectively slows down the RF, the lower in frequency it is. They call it an encabulated method. It's blooming expensive. It's over a hundred pounds or about $120 per foot okay but what it does mean is that you could have or you know like a NGO non-government organization perhaps a military and I think this is what it was designed for it's been set up to me for testing I've been down to the test range actually at the Ministry of Defense but it's the infused polymer on the jacket which is absolutely fascinating and that's what does the slowing down I can't think of many applications I mean it would be fun it would cost about a thousand dollars to buy a single element to string up a DX commander and we can put it up on an 80 meter pole, one element, and that will do every band as long as it's linear, all right? As long as it follows the curve because it's not bumpy. You know, we've got 80, 80 40, 20, 15 effectively, but this runs out at about, um, we, you can't get better than 100% velocity factor. I mean, I was talking to one of the scientists. He said, well, we could actually put a voltage, an anti-voltage regulator in and supply some power and see if we can get the velocity factor over the speed of light. But he, he I think he was a bit cuckoo, to be honest. You've got to remember that most wire, as a kinsulated wire, has got a velocity factor of 92%. So uh, we take our quarter wave and we cut a bit off. All right, with this one, you don't need to do that. You just put one element on, and there we are. I wish I could remember the name of the coating they gave it. It's some sort of molecular infusion. They call it an encabulated. I don't know what it means. So fantastic. All right, next year uh, on the April Fools, I think we'll, I was gonna do. <laughs> so April Fools next year. I think we'll use chat beach, G I think we'll use chat i'll start again next year's april fools we're going to use chat gpt actually this is the one i was going to do this is the april fools i was going to do this time and we're going to hook up my ts 990 and i was going to emulate that with a sound card chat gpt could on the fly translate the ssb voice <laughs> from german any language to any other language just like you can on google translate all right and then i was going to have a firmware upgrade for the 990 i was going to emulate it i was just going to put a ticker across the bottom of the screen here you see with sp spelling mistakes and unknowns and question marks and stuff so when the fellow says j'ai habite paris so i i lived in paris it will come up you know i lived in paris i thought that'd be good 
and then I was going to use chat BGBT along the way. All right, so this is a complete spoof. There is nothing as called an infinitely variable velocity factor. It's not the word encapsulated I got for actually another spoof video. And it's a regular 135, 200, 300 pound braking strain DX50 wire, which I've just cut off the reel there. Have a good day and see how many other April Fool videos you can come across today. All right, bye for now. Now, I thoroughly recommend you watch the very end of this video if you don't watch it all, because this is something special. Let's see how many people fall for this one.